What is up everybody? It's Jonathan from Enigma Photos and I just recently had to take my iMac in and um, it really sucked because essentially what happened was I went to update it and it hung. So luckily I've got everything backed up and we had to wipe it so now I'm having to reinstall uh, a lot of the things that I use in editing images and uh, time lapses in video. So the thing that I'm doing right now is adding Visco back on, which has amazing, amazing company that has some really cool film emulation uh, plugins for Lightroom. And I use them here once in a while, in addition to all the other adjustments that I make on images. So I just thought I'd make a little short tutorial on how easy it is to install these. So I've already downloaded them onto my Mac, and you just double click and you get this little dialogue making sure. I'm legit and not putting anything bad on my computer. And the next thing you do, you'll get this beautiful little pop-up from Visco. We're doing a uh, film five. So they'll ask you terms of service, all that great stuff. And you can pick your cameras. Um, since I am kind of a camera whore, uh, I've got a lot of cameras that I've shot with from different companies. So for me, I usually pick Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Sony, and Olympus since I've got pictures from all of them. And I might want to go back in the past and get some of those. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to enter your product license key and it will install it there for you. I'm not going to put it by because, you know, can't trust everybody that's out there. But the cool thing is once you open up Lightroom, you will be able to get your pictures. And if you just want to select one, you can select one, go into develop, and boom, here are all your presets that you've added. Sorry, again, because I had to reinstall everything, I get all those, those crazy little pop-ups. So if I remember correctly, this was shot with the D810. So here are all your presets. Pretty black and white one that we could add there, just to give it, you know, a little bit of character. And they're all your presets. So hope this helped you. Just a little short tutorial on how to put them on your computer. And I hope you all have a great day. Talk to you soon.